Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about the practical application of the decimate modifier. So the purpose of the, the decimate modifier is to reduce the face count of a sculpted model or even a 3D scan model. So let's just say in this example I have a model that has uh, 182,093 triangles and if this model is just going to be just lying around in the scene or it's just going to be part of an accessory that a character would wear around his waist then the number of these triangles that we have is far more than what we need so what we do is to reduce it using the decimate modifier so to apply the decimate modifier just select the model in the object mode and then go to the modifier properties and then select decimate so as soon as you apply the decimate modifier uh, the collapse option is the one that's enabled by default so most of the time the collapse option is the ideal option that you want to en enable especially for the sole purpose of just face count reduction and lowering the value will start decimating the mesh while maintaining the shape as best as it can Triangulate option will just ensure that all the faces are turned into triangles. So if you notice that the triangle count will now be the same as the number of face count. Whereas if I disable that, some of them are not triangles. And here's the actual triangle count. 111,409. So if I enable this again, you'll see they are now the same. That means that they're all triangles. Okay, so the next option would be the, the symmetry option and turning that on while lowering the value uh, will just ensure that the topology as you decimate it will be symmetrical on both sides in the x direction as we indicated here. So I just paused the video to create a vertex group for this call and as you can see there's a vertex group that I just created and if I go to the edit mode and select those vertex groups then you can see where those vertex groups are so if I go to add modifier and then add the decimate modifier again so if I go to vertex group and choose a vertex group what you're telling the decimate modifier is you only want that vertex group to be affected by the decimation there, as you can see, it's only decimating that part of the, the, the model. And there has to be a value of the factor slider. Otherwise, if, it's the, if this is turned into zero, then it's no, it's no longer going to affect. It's just going to decimate as usual. And turn that factor on, and it will acknowledge the presence of that vertex group. Okay, that's it for the collapse option, and for the next option, I'm, I'm going to be using another model as an illustration. And for the unsubdivide, as you can see, I already applied the decimate modifier ahead of time for this model. So the unsubdivide option, you can use this if the model had previously been subdivided using the subdivide or subdivision surface modifier so the way it decimates is it lets you decimate by going back to lo lower subdivision levels using the uh, iteration slider so this may not work perfectly but it, it may come in handy at certain times so you see uh, if I click this iteration you see it goes back to um, its original sub, uh, lower subdivision levels. Okay, so for the last option, we have the planar option. So, as soon as I press that, you see right away that it forms those angons or those faces that have five or more sides. As I increase this angle limit, you see that the way it decimates is it forms those 
unwanted topology. And this is something that most pipelines avoid, be it animation, VFX, or games. So I'm not sure about 3D printing, but this is just something that you don't want when it comes to topology. So uh, I think that it's just a collapse option that's most useful in most cases. And once you're done, don't forget to finalize this modifier. And to do that, go to this menu and simply choose Apply. And so that's it for Decimate Modifier. Thanks for watching, guys.